Yeah, definitely exciting. We uh, just came down from an altitude training camp with uh, Coach Bowman, and that was a pretty exciting group to train with, and it just uh, shows the results of the whole year, but especially those those couple weeks up at altitude in Colorado Springs definitely paying off here, and uh, it's very exciting, um, especially like some freestyle events. haven't been improving those as much as I'd want to in uh, previous years, but to kind of turn to some other events, but right now it seems like everything's really clicking, and um, just a testament to Coach Roman and ASU's training that they've been giving me. I think it's a lot more uh, belief in myself from uh, just talking with Coach Roman, the coach of ASU, Derek Schmidt, uh, Rachel Stratton-Mills, Dan Kessler, uh, just all of them having more like kind of confidence and making me believe in myself some more. Also just raising the level of training that I'm at the level of, uh, not the dedication level, but the level of excellence that I require myself day in, day out, every set, every lap, um, it's just elevated. And that's uh, that's the whole reason why I went to Tempe, is to find that new level of excellence. And I thought no better way to uh, find that level than to be with the coach, one of the best coaches, in my opinion, the best coach of all time. It definitely got me a lot more excited. I, uh, the, the morning swim was my best prelim swim I've ever done for a 400 freestyle, but um, kind of didn't go after it as I should have. And uh, at night, just got the green light from the coaches. Didn't really care what happened, but uh, they knew they knew I could do it. I just had to kind of go out, put it out there, and uh, just have, again, belief and confidence in myself. We've done the training day in, day out. They knew I could do it. It just was a matter of what I told myself I could do. So it was uh, definitely a big confidence boost because that was only the second time I've been under four minutes in uh, about four or three years. So uh, it's exciting to see those results starting to pop up and uh, to know uh, definitely not when you're not shaved or by any means tapered that uh, being able to go those times is motivating for here in about two, three weeks. Just uh, just knowing that one day will click. I mean, I got to give a lot of props to my support system, my mother, my father, my sister. But um, one guy especially is my brother, Kyle House. Um, he just, any time a meet really wouldn't go the way, just say, keep saying head up. The best is yet to come. It'll come one day. Um, my dad is like really renowned for telling me at least like the hay is in the barn or some corny one-liner like that. And, and it's true, it might not be the results I want that one day, that one season, but in some aspect, the work is totaled up. It's been the hay is in the barn, and uh, just persistence, just kind of the support system I'm very thankful to have, and just the belief like with Coach Bowman and my coaches my career, especially my family, they've helped kind of support me and push me along the way.